Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Well, that um, that meme, Facebook meme, probably gives an idea of where I'm going with this. I just want to uh, kind of bring a few aspects into this. Uh, for instance, uh, the response to this in Britain, uh, how the whole thing is being uh, distorted and politicized in the United States, uh, mainly to support uh, the Democratic Party agenda. But of course, this is nothing to do with left or right or or uh, Democrat versus Republican. All the, the rot just goes right across uh, the board. Um, but nevertheless, they're trying to distort the whole thing. And then there are questions of uh, where on earth did um, uh, did Epstein get his uh, his billions from? Uh, and um, yeah, nobody seems to know. And then there's the whole question of the role of Israel. It's been discovered that Epstein took recordings. Uh, of um, of the sessions, and that this was quite possibly used uh, as a form of blackmail. Uh, Alex uh, Christoforou and Alexander Nakuris uh, from the Duran have done an excellent breakdown of this, and uh, they ask, uh, "Well, where is the UK uh, media?" and uh, the European media in all of this. So let's just, uh, yeah, so I'll play this first and then I'm going to follow that on uh, by something that came out from the Telegraph uh, a few uh, years ago. So I doubt if, well, they're, actually they're not saying it anymore. Uh, so let's just roll these two videos, one after the other. Interesting aspects of the Epstein story, Epstein story, is that it's not been covered very extensively in Britain and in the European media. And I can't help but think that the reason that is so is because people are very nervous about it here. They sense that there is something really big behind all of this. Well, there are some connections, at least from the flight logs, we know that uh, Prince Andrew, uh, Prince Andrew, I believe, yes, was yeah. was one of the people that was, you know, well, the, trotting around the globe with Epstein on this quote unquote Lolita Express airplane. So I mean, you know, you're, well, this, you're touching the royal a, family, aren't you? Absolutely, of course you are. I mean, he is the second son of the Queen. So that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. I mean, that's I suspect why. As I said, the British media especially are barely touching this. I mean, what, what you have just said has not been reported here. And it would be explosive if um, it were. I mean, I, I, I want to make it very clear at this point. I'm not making any allegations against any individual person, including the one you've just named. No. But... So while... Um the uh, UK press just ignores the whole story um, and tries to kind of rewrite uh, recent history. Uh, in America, they're trying to expunge any record of Bill Clinton ever having been on the Lolita Express. And um, and meanwhile, the, the Democrats are politicizing the whole thing uh, and as you'll see from this little bit of video, um, they're saying uh, something that's true. They're talking about uh, the involvement of uh, uh, Labour Secretary Acosta and his role, uh, but they're completely ignoring and uh, suppressing any knowledge of uh, kind of how... Um, Epstein uh, was supporting the Clinton Foundation, and um, and then that Bill Clinton was on the on the Express uh, twenty something uh, times. So let's just watch this video first. 
We're starting with the big look. Pressure is growing on President Trump's labor secretary to step down over the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Democrats are blasting Alex Acosta for a secret and generous plea deal he approved for the financier more than a decade ago when Acosta was U.S. attorney in Florida. Epstein served 13 months in jail and was often released during the day after being accused of sexually abusing dozens of underage girls. He had to register as a sex offender. Epstein now faces federal child sex trafficking charges in New York City, where prosecutors say a raid of his home turned up hundreds of... Jeffrey people. Epstein and President Trump had uh, a lot of real estate deals in Palm Beach uh, and, and in that county there. So they, they, uh, their paths crossed quite a bit. And uh, the, the last part of this is that uh, Jeffrey Epstein uh, and President Trump uh, at one time, according to records, flight logs, used the Lolita Express. Now, it doesn't mean that President Trump has gone to the special Caribbean island that's being alleged as the, the hub of uh, sexual perversion overseas, potentially out of the jurisdiction of any U.S. Uh, prosecution, especially if it was in flight. But uh, President Trump has met multiple times with Mr. Epstein, and so much so he said that he was a longtime friend, a terrific guy. Now, President Trump, however, uh, according to Bradley Edwards, who was a defense attorney representing some of the victims, uh, in, the, in the case against Mr. Epstein. In 2009, um, it basically was an interview President Trump over the phone. Uh, President Trump did this without a lawyer. And President Trump, according to uh, Brad Edwards, gave a specific testimony to him uh, that he was able to use to investigate and help further service his clients, the victims in this. We actually have a soundbite from this lawyer. This was in 2018 as one of the cases for defamation and sealing was finishing up in Palm Beach County. Okay, let's watch this. Obviously, our current president has had relationships with Epstein in the past, and there are those, uh, Katie Johnson and maybe other victims who have accused Trump of being involved in things like this. Um, in my experience, Trump supporters will not listen to anything along those lines. Obviously, we're not a court of law here right now, but are those claims of the, though that case was dropped, it was dropped before it went to, to court. In your opinion as a lawyer and your experience, is there anything you can say as to the validity of those claims or whether or not there will be any, you know, any more about that? Nothing at all. I, the only thing that I can say about President Trump is that he is the only person who in 2009, when I served a lot of subpoenas on a lot of people, or at least gave notice to some pretty uh, connected people that I was going, that I wanted to talk to them. He is the only person who picked up the phone and said, let's just talk. I'll give you as much time as you want. I'll tell you what you need to know. And was very helpful in the information that he gave and gave no indication whatsoever that he was involved in anything untoward whatsoever, but had good information that checked out and that helped us. And then we didn't have to take a, a, a deposition of him. That was in 2009? That was in 2009. So do you know if there's any truth to James Patterson's claims that Trump kicked Epstein out of Mar-a-Lago? I've definitely heard that. Yeah. I, I definitely heard that. I don't know that it was Trump himself as opposed to a manager there. But uh, Trump's club, so yeah, credit Trump, him. Trump, I, I've heard the rumor that Epstein was kicked out of there for allegedly trying to pick up somebody's daughter or something like that. Okay, so that, that's Brad Edwards. They, and he is or was the attorney for Virginia. Uh, and next is this um, uh, radio show, Ann Coulter uh, uh, discusses the whole thing. And uh, this is what she has to say. Well, it's worse than that, Rick. She uh, she claims, and actually, I have, I have a soundbite for this if we have the time for it. Uh, Vicky Ward claims that Epstein did more than uh, kill the article. He he threatened to maybe kill her baby. What? Yes. Vicky Ward has alleged, this is in a, uh, a recent podcast interview with Slate.com. Uh, the title of the podcast was The Long, Ugly Road to Jeffrey Epstein's Arrest. She alleged that not only did she face pressure after interviewing and digging into the sordid affair and the mysterious background of Jeffrey Epstein, but she was pregnant at the time, and Mr. Epstein made very weird and uh, intimidating statements to her that caused her to fear for the safety of her child. She actually asked the hospital, she asked the hospital to increase security during the time period that she would be going in for appointments, and because of Epstein, she says Jeffrey Epstein told her, I found out 
which hospital you're using, which one you're going to. For to have her baby. To have her baby. This is the reporter who is trying to bring out the stories of two victims, only two of the thousand, regarding Jeffrey Epstein's sex crimes. And yet the people who pressured her and pressured her publisher, publisher was owned by, when you go all the way up the food chain, Robert Maxwell, Israeli Mossad spy. That's right. Oh, there's more, though, Rick, right? Because 